guys. How's it going? Good morning. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Anybody got anything uh, pressing before we start rolling with the names? No, no not for me. No, no emergencies, crises, anything like that? No. I'm going to need this all phone this weekend. Okay. I'll make sure you get it. Uh, I don't really have any administrative stuff, so let's just get rolling. Okay, sounds good. Nikki Andrews? Not me. Not me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually saw Nikki yesterday. She um, came to McDonald's to meet me. Um, was in a good mood, you know, um, interacted with people um, really pretty well, so I think her social skills are really starting to improve. Good. Which That's I was happy to see. great. I'm actually seeing her later today at the job center. We're going to. Uh, work a little bit on her resume and talk more about employment. So I'm glad you heard that the social stuff is getting better. That'll be really helpful to her. Awesome. Uh, Steel Alcorn. Nothing. Not me. Nothing. Okay. Carla Bauer. Nothing new on her. Same dude. She's, she's doing good. Okay. I think I started him late. I had, oh, had to do a quick stop at a house on the way in. No problem. What's happening? You got anything for us before we keep going with names? Oh, uh, yeah. I wanted to make sure you got my vacation request and get that taken care of. I got it. We'll talk about it later. All right. I think it's fine, but we'll, we'll chat later. Thanks. Uh, let's keep going. Thomas S. I actually saw him yesterday as well. I had to help him unplug the stove. And um, just, you know, again, reminding them that for right now, we're using the microwave only. Okay. Oh. I'm going to see him later today and we'll talk some more about stove safety. Okay. We don't want that happening again. Right. Yeah. I'm going to close call. Uh, Patrick Finch. Patrick Finch. I uh, was by there watching him take his meds yesterday. Um, all good. Um, Nicole, we started talking about first steps in getting employment um, for him. Nice. So he was hoping to be able to talk with you sometime soon. All right, yeah. Actually, I was planning on going out there today, so um, I'll take that conversation up. Thank you. By all means, I ask him. He's looking forward to that. Did he happen to mention anything about what he's interested in doing? Nah, he's saving that for you, I think. So he didn't want to talk to me about it. So I'll talk to Nicole. Okay. All right. So I'll let it go. Cool. Right good on. to be here. Great. Just thinking on. Brad Fenwick? Um... I'm scheduled to meet with him and his landlord uh, later today to discuss payment for the broken windows. Uh, I'll find out when he'd like to see Dr. Chris and get that scheduled. Okay, oh, so okay. good. You know what, guys, too, I did see him very briefly yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I was down the, toward the Vine Street area, so I just popped in. Um, and he seemed to be doing pretty good. He did mention wanting to chat with you, though, about coming back on his medicine, maybe. Okay. But I just want to keep in touch because one of the first places that it shows up when he's not doing well is at work. So okay, yeah, I don't have him on for today, but maybe tomorrow. I just need uh, I need to check on my schedule. So All right, when I when I'm with him later today, I'll see if he's available. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Okay. okay. I got it. Sounds good. Bill Holloway. No. Uh, nope. Kelly Harris. Um. University Hospital actually called me last night about Kelly. He showed up at the emergency room because we don't know he's not doing too well. So I just worked with the intake people there um, to get him assessed, told them what we thought. Um, they went ahead and admitted him, which I think is the right call right now. So if somebody can get up there at some point today, that would be good. I'll do that. Get real close to uh, Thomas's place. Really, so I'll stop over in the afternoon. And I can make sure that I follow up too real quick to make sure he understands his meds and everything once he's out. Just keep an eye on if they yeah. change anything. Right. You know, we want to know and right. provide our input. Okay. Yeah, send me a copy. We'll talk okay. about it. Okay. For sure. Good. Tom Johnson? Tom's doing really good. He's in his new house. Um, we got them all unpacked and got everything cleaned up and now we're kind of working on the outside maintenance about keeping an eye on his lawn and mowing that. So he's really... Um, He's really moving up and proud of his face. I kind of talked to him about making sure he stayed in touch with us during this transition. It's his first time kind of living independently, you know, without neighbors, you know, in an apartment building. So um, he said he was really open to that. Excellent. Okay. Rachel Kipling. 
I ran into Rachel yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm a little concerned about her. I just happened to bump into her when I was downtown last night. Mm -hmm. And um, she she wasn't looking well. Um, she was kind of standing on the side of the street talking to herself. There wasn't anyone around. You know, I, I asked her about it, and you know, she said she's not hearing voices, but um, she was dressed a little bit more provocatively than she normally is when I see her, and you know, she looked like she might have been high, honestly. So I'm wondering if she might be soliciting, um, possibly using crack again. So I'm really. I'm going to check in with her as soon as possible. I'm downtown today, um, so I'll keep my eyes out for her. Uh, and i got to go right past the tavern. I know that's some place where she hangs out, so I'll keep an eye out and see if I can catch up with her. Great. Okay, Thanks, Rick. Let us know. Uh, Tilly Lopez. Talked to her grandma yesterday on the phone. Grandma's pretty cool, uh, keeping us posted on things. She hadn't seen Tilly in a, in a bit, and her meds are still there, so we know pretty much she's not taking her meds. Um, she usually, when she does stop in, does it after the weekend, so I'm going to try to drop in there like Monday, and that might be my best chance to catch her there, and we'll see. But keep looking out for her. Okay. I'm sorry, Scott, I missed one of you dropping in. I'm going to drop in Monday, because that's, that's what Grandma says is the best chance to catch her. Cool. Yeah, let us know. Uh, Samuel Lang. Anybody? I think he's all good. Oh, you got Yeah, today we're going to Social Security because he something got all screwed up and uh, the phone system, you know, isn't the way to do it. So we're just going to go down to the office and see what we can fix. Good call. Um, he's getting pretty stressed about it, but I think I think it'll be okay. Good call. Let us know um, how we can help with that if you want to get things straightened out. Is, is that part of his income reporting he's having issues with? Yeah, I mean, I think okay. he's done it right, yeah. but, you know, they is made he, the, He's getting receipts? Yep, okay. getting receipts. All right. But that should be good. I don't you think we missed anything, anything, but you never know. You guys might want to just keep in touch around this stuff. Yeah. Um, make sure everything's gets smoothed out. Robert Lowe. Um, we're going to see Dr. Chris yes. today. Yep. Um, this afternoon. He wants to talk about lowering his debit code. Yes. He also wants to talk with you about getting a dog. For real? For real. And okay. I'm not mm -hmm. entirely sure why it is that he's feeling the need for your consent uh, about the dog. Yeah, but uh, once again, he wants uh, your blessing. I will. So just know I will dog know it down. is coming. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe much. he's thinking of like a therapy dog. Oh, it's just a oh, that's true. You need a letter for that sometimes. You do. Okay. Well, he pretty much values Dr. Chris's opinion on everything, so right. I'm not too surprised. Right. Although, yeah, I don't know if he'll listen to me about the Depico. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Sally looks. Um, I saw her yesterday um, and really tried to get her to think about, she's still drinking pretty heavily, and I really tried to get her to think about the consequences of that. Um, she still doesn't see that it has anything to do with the loss of her hot thing. Mm -hmm. So. Just be careful that if we get her talking about consequences, I, I don't know that she's really there yet, right? If we, we get too far out in front of her, and she's just going to get all pissed off and not talk to us anymore. So it might, John, be a good idea to, to restage her in um, treatment planning meeting. Um, to just to, to see where we think she's at. But I'm pretty sure she's not ready for a conversation about consequences yet. It's tricky, you know, because sometimes she'll go there, but then right. sometimes she gets all defensive. So right. we just got to sort of make sure we know where she's at before we start charging down that path. Okay, I'll bump her up on the stage on this. This is good. Bill, uh, Brian Mary? Oh, I saw him yesterday. Uh, his EDLs, uh, you know, we need somebody to get on the weekly schedule. Uh, his hair, brushing his teeth. Just, yeah, it's getting bad. Um, I mean, he is, I know he's trying, but um, if we could get somebody to start working with him on that regularly, it would be great. He doesn't have a whole lot of insight, 
with the how he comes across them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm taking him to see his mom today. Okay. okay. So um, in the drive out there and back, okay. and I'll start. You know, I'll talk to him about it, and I'll see if um, you know we can't even try to get him even three times a week. Uh, we set some goals. You so. Let me know what works for him in terms of which days. Okay. And put it on the weekly client schedule. Okay. Sure. I'd be glad to get in the mix, but I haven't met him before, so I'd be thinking about who okay. might be best to kind of do an intro. Yeah, okay. and we <laughs> might want to hold off on that a little bit if we think he's not doing too well. Yeah, he's um, doing a couple. But we'll yeah. make note of it and you know see how things go in the future. We'll just get in there as soon as we can. Sounds like a plan. Champ Riley saw him yesterday. Um, still refusing to talk to me or let me in. Um, the apartment looked clean from the doorway, but I, I couldn't see everything. And there's garbage bags kind of piled up outside, so I don't know what's going on over there. I'm, I missed that, Rick. Um, apartment looks clean, but... Yeah, but, but he's got garbage bags like piled up outside the door. Outside. Um, so I, I don't know exactly what's going on there. I'm pretty tight with his uh, landlord, and, and she usually has a pretty good sense for how things are going. I'll give her a call. Excellent. And uh, see what she thinks. Great. And if you hear anything, let me know. We have a really good relationship, so I can even maybe try to get in, you know, to see him. Yeah, either bring you out there with me next yeah. time or just have you go check in on him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Christina Morris. Nothing. Uh, Nothing for today. Matthew Markowitz. I saw him yesterday. Um, Popped in to bring in his heads um, and talked with him about how he's handling the recent passing of his sister. Um, yeah, I mean, he said he's doing well. I did have to wake him up, but um, he's, you know, he's verbally, verbally, you know, expressing that he's, he's fine and he was almost too hurt ego. Know, I'm a little concerned. This reminds me of two years ago when his dad died, and I really think he should come in and see me as soon as possible. I don't know if I'm getting extra slots this afternoon, but uh, he doesn't do too well in the grieving process, so yeah, he's stressed out, overly stressed, you know. So, you should come in and see as yeah, soon as possible. Even if it's not today, but even if we can do it like in the next two days or so, that would be okay. great. What about your cooking skills for Would that work for him? If he'd be willing, um, mm -hmm. I, you know, I've got to make the rounds on, uh, on Friday to go get people, and so, I mean, nothing to stop and pick him up on the way, or, um, I don't know if he's ready for That's that. That's what I'm thinking, too, Rick, because, um, you know, he, he seems to kind of minimize it, like, you know, it's part of life, right. it's when we move on, and that's yeah. true, but... Well, I'm not you, sure he's there yet. Yeah, it wouldn't be know? a bad thing just to let him know that it's there, right? Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's not be pushy yeah. about right. it. Let's just be like, hey, this is here. It right. might be helpful. Just let him and if he shows any interest, yeah. then we, you know, we jump on it. Yeah. Right. That's good. Good call. Uh, Tim Nielsen. Saw him in the morning yesterday. He's getting ready for work, taking his meds, eating breakfast. I mean, it's going great. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, nice. He has come a long one. Yeah. I told him he sees you next week. Okay. He, he knew it. was right there on the, oh. on the fridge. Still same schedule? Yeah. haven't changed? Good. Yeah, same Good. Schedule. That really works. Good, Good stuff. stuff. Ann Owls. Um, I saw Ann. She's been doing pretty good. She's been able to stay sober for about three weeks now. Um, her kids are coming back on Friday. So she's really nervous and anxious about that a little bit. So what I'd kind of like to see is if we could see her daily um, this week and even put her on the list for over the weekend. Yeah, I'm working this weekend, so um, I'll put her on my list for both days. Okay, that'd be great, and I'll kind of let her know that. That way even with the kids coming back and her being anxious, she knows we're going to be there and have yeah. something to Are you saying she tries to stay sober um, when she's got the kids and whatnot? Yeah. In the past, she's had some trouble with cravings, um, and I've got this little handy, like, one-page worksheet managing cravings that I can get to you if you're going to see her. Maybe she'd be interested in it, so maybe it would be helpful. She's usually pretty receptive to stuff like that. Um, she really wants this unification to work, so I think she's willing to do whatever we... All right. And I'm glad you told me about the kids. I didn't know that. I know that weekends are typically 
hard for her because she's not working and she doesn't have much to do with her time. Okay. So, um, well, I'll get you a little worksheet if she wants it. Great. You can decide if it's you know, appropriate. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm not going out until the afternoon, so. Work. Has anyone talked to her about medications to help her with cravings? There's at least two or three good ones on the market. I don't know. She's going to ask her. At least you know, I'll ask out there I'll because, out there. you know, it can help some people. So. It's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Good. Michelle Paris? I'm going to give her a call today. I haven't seen her in a couple weeks. So I'll follow up with you guys tomorrow. Kelsey Phillips. Really saw her yesterday or anything? Yeah, nothing. I'm scheduled to see her today. Um, we're going to meet with her guardian, actually. She's got some written requests that she wants to pass by the guardian. See what he says, so I'm going to just go with her and show some support, possibly some advocacy with the guardian. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kelly Randall. Uh, went to the outpatient clinic with her yesterday. Um, she tolerated the test pretty well. Um, we went for uh, coffee afterward. Um, anybody available to check on her today, just with the recent stressors that she's had, probably a good idea if we're checking in at least daily here for the next week or two and, and make sure she's over the hump with that stuff. That's my zone, so I could do that. You'd be great. And I know she's probably pretty anxious about the test results, so let me call the clinic today and see if Well, that would be great. I think if she had the chance to talk to you about it, that would yeah. help her feel a lot better. Yeah, if you find that out, let me know so I'll know what I'm kind of walking into. Okay, okay. for sure. Good work. Um, Victoria Reese. I saw her uh, yesterday. She's doing really well. She's um, really happy with the work that she's been doing with Dr. Chris about um, learning the purpose of each one of her medicines, and I and I think that's going to help her uh, be more comfortable with taking them. Yeah. Um, which is great because next month, you know, she had talked about wanting to find a seasonal job, and that's probably when we'll start looking at that. So. Okay. Really good stuff. Yeah, that's awesome good. Here. yeah, she did. She's done even better than we thought. Yeah. So I think we should keep her on that weekly med education piece mm -hmm. for a little while because it, it, the more reinforcement, the better for her. It really seemed to work well. Okay. And you're still seeing her at least once a week. I am. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's great progress. Uh, Sue Ann Rex. Saw her yesterday. Um, she's in the fight with her sister again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, there were empty beer bottles all over. Uh, she was safe. But whoever's in that zone today, that's you. When you stop in and check on her, you know how erratic that gets for her when her sister are at it. If you feel unsafe at all, this goes for anybody, right? If any of us feel unsafe, in a situation like that with your sister, we know it's gotten by in the past, just hold off, give me a call. Um, or if I don't answer call with these other guys, get a second opinion yeah, on what's going on. I mean, if her sister's there, no way. Mm -hmm. I'm just staying away, but just her should be cool, I think. And just know that uh, I don't know which of them has been drinking, but there were pretty clearly some empties around, and so, you know, you know how that goes. Um, where are we at? Tom Struthers? I'm planning to see him today to take him to the Medicaid office for a recertification. Good. Sally Sampson. I went to her apartment yesterday. She let me in, um, and then she said she didn't want to act services, and then she talked to me for another 20, 25 minutes about her old job, so she's kind of you know, yeah, on, on the fence. So um, the conversation ended well. Um, I was hoping maybe, Nicole, you could get out there to see her soon. Yeah, I'll give her a call and see. Um, I have some time I could go out there tomorrow and see if she's open to that. Maybe I can engage her around the employment conversation. Okay. And maybe that will influence how she feels about working with the team. Sounds like she's ready to move on a little bit like she did. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for reinforcing yeah, it because I'll do that. So. he was proud. Yeah, should be absolutely. Good. Angel Thomas. She's doing great. She um, has taken her meds and um, is really starting to kind of use the coping skills we've been working with her about, and things seem to really be falling in place. One thing to know that's new is her boyfriend staying with her. Um, seems to be okay, but just something to keep our eye on. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. If she's doing better, do you think? Maybe it would be worth talking with her about if she's interested in finding a job. Um, yeah, we could we could check that out. Sure. Um, we hold off on that for a little bit. Yeah, and you know, be I mean, get a sense. I trust your guys' judgment on that. But uh, if if she's thinking about moving in with the boyfriend, it could be a bit of a touchy time, given that that well, relationship has been all rough. Yeah, and that's why I was wondering about it, too, because if I remember correctly, part of why she keeps going back to this guy is because he supports her financially. Mm -hmm. So maybe um, if she had some a little more independence, yeah. financial independence, yeah. she wouldn't feel like she needs to keep going back to that guy. I, it's just a thought, you know. Mm -hmm. You said she's doing better. So. Yeah, she's doing great. There's, there's a lot going on with her. Mm -hmm. Maybe we move her on to the, the treatment planning staging update list too. Just so to kind of get a good sense, point. Get a good sense that's, of where she's at with everything these days. Okay. Look at it from all angles, right. that's a great there's, idea. There's probably five things we can start in with, you know, yeah. uh, we'll start in on with her, but let's just make sure we know where she's at. I'll get her on the list. Sounds good. We yes. need her to help us kind of narrow in on what she wants to work with. True. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Uh, Steven Unker. Nothing? No. Nothing new. Sam Umpire. Um, I'm seeing him today for a shot. Um, he's a week overdue, mm -hmm. um, but nobody's seen him in a couple weeks, so I'm just going to go ahead and go out there um, and try to touch base with him, and um, I'll update you guys later tomorrow morning. You going to take the shot with you? Yes. Yeah. Good. I tried to go by there uh, a couple days ago, but you know, I mean, one. Right. He drops out, you know, and it's yeah. kind of hard to find him every once in a while. Yeah, but that's why I figured I would just take the injection and see if I can. Smart move. I hope he's there. Yeah. Let us know, Dina. Okay, I um, will. Kelsey, uncle. I'm scheduled to see her tomorrow. Okay. I'm actually seeing her today. I see she's on my list. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to talk about getting her heart checked, um, but you guys know she's just freaked out about any doctors. Um, at the same time, she's pretty overweight. She's been complaining of some chest pains and stuff. So 
Um, Dean, if you could just start to have that conversation sure. with her or continue the conversation where she values the nurse's opinion about stuff. So. Yeah, we have a pretty good relationship, so I, I think she'd sit and talk to me about it a little bit. Okay. Do we know who her primary care doctor is? Does she have one? That's a good question. I don't know, but I'll make sure that I ask her about it tomorrow yeah. when I'm talking to her about it. Yeah, and just a reminder, I don't know if she does either, and I should sure. know, um, but just as a reminder for all of us, as soon as somebody comes on the team, we need to be looking for that primary care physician. If yep. they don't have one, let's get them linked with Dina, Dina get, get them linked with the PCPs. Exactly, over yeah, at the, sure. um, the FQHC down the street. Yep. They're real good about our clients. So. Okay, if she's freaked out about going to the doctor, the one to go with her? I mean, could be better. me, could be, could be you, sure. maybe. Yeah. I'd be happy to take her. Yeah, I think she'd be pretty comfortable with me taking her too. Like I said, I she can't, so. she'll talk to me about stuff she's concerned about. So that's a great idea. Do, do we have any kind of list of who's connected and to who which? isn't? It's kind of, yeah. It would just, I mean, you know, given that we're, I'm, I'm seeing a whole bunch of people here in the next couple of weeks, and if I knew who wasn't connected, at least I could have a conversation with them. Okay, that's a good idea, Rick. I'm gonna, um, I'll get a list started, and then maybe we can get like five minutes at the next meeting and kind of figure out who's got what. Okay, especially because a lot of our clients have hepatitis C, high blood pressure, right. I mean, it's just rampant. I mean, yeah. you know, they all need some sort of primary care. Yeah, all right, we'll get on it. Okay. Uh, John Unison. Oh boy, okay, so I'm yesterday, and the girlfriend's back in the picture. Oh, okay. Um, so he's thinking about moving back in with her, and that didn't go too well. Mm. <laughs> But I, I just, I didn't push him on it. I was just like, okay, okay, cool, keep us posted. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he gets really mad when you start giving him a hard time about the girlfriend. Yeah, yeah I remember. Let, let's leave it alone yeah. for right now. Right. But keep an eye out. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually going to see him today mm -hmm. to talk about how work is going. And one of the things that you know, I know about this girlfriend's place is that it's not on the bus line and that's how he gets to work. Ah. So uh, I'm not going to push him, but I'm going to ask him about what, you know, what his plans are to get to work if he does make the move. Okay. Maybe he'll well, be open job. to some more discussion. He loves mm -hmm. his job. Yeah. Where are you seeing him today, Colin? Um, we're meeting at the uh, McDonald's that's around the corner. All right. Um, yeah, let's monitor that situation. Just see. Daniel Volcom. He needs to see you soon. Yeah, um, I, I don't know what my schedule looks like for this afternoon. I got to talk to the front desk. Um, but as a matter of fact, let's double book him if we have to. I mean, let's just just get a message to him. Get here by three thirty. I will work him in. Well, you know what? I'll be out. I'll be out his way today, yeah. and so if you want to let me know when your appointments are, okay. I'll um, I'll go ahead and That's stop perfect. by. And okay. The voices are getting really bad. He's he's yelling at him. Okay. Yeah. You know, I tried talking about some of the IMR stuff from our group. Okay. So maybe remind him. You know, he used to really that worked for him, mm -hmm. but right now it didn't work as much. Yeah. Okay. When did you see him last, Scott? Uh, just yesterday. Okay. I'll text you. Okay. okay. Perfect. Cool. John Wallace. I uh, saw him yesterday, really excited about the new place. Oh, good. Um, we started working on a list of home improvements uh, that he wants to do. Um, some of his home improvements are a little questionable, but, uh, <laughs> well, you know. To um, each his own, right? right. To each his own. So, uh, but anyway, uh, his mood seems stable, so everything seems pretty good there. Okay, I'll see him in the morning for meds and everything, so I'll kind of just follow up and tell him. Um, See how he's doing on his list for home improvements. Good. Good, good. Uh, Kelly York. Saw her yesterday. She's been working hard packing for the move. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's I mean, right. she's almost done, 90% done, probably. Oh, right. yeah, and uh, I, I think she'll be ready. She right. handling that? Seems to. I mean, moving is stressful on her. Yeah. Right? So she seems pretty cool with it. Good. So, uh, I mean, I think she'd tell me if she weren't. But okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually see her today, so I'll check in, okay. see how the anxiety is. Um, let us know if we need to step it up. You know, if we need to start seeing her every day through this move, we can certainly do that. Okay. So let us know. Okay. You gonna help her on that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. 
Hey. Hey. Scott's not available. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Sander, last one. Okay, I saw him yesterday afternoon. I think he's putting up a good front. He said he was fine. I thought he was more anxious than he usually is, and um, at one point said he was biting off the voices last night. So if anybody's got a little bit of time today, can somebody stop in? I'm actually scheduled to go out oh. and see him today. Yeah. He's yeah, young. don't let him feed you that line. He just sort of likes to hide stuff sometimes, so just okay. give him a couple of minutes to let you know what's going on. Yeah. He had okay. talked about wanting to maybe go back to school or get back into working at the library where he worked before. Mm. But that seemed like a long term yeah. kind of goal for him. But I'll, I'll, I'll check on I'll yeah. check on him and I'll let you know what I find out. Awesome. If we need to get him back in to see Dr. Chris sooner rather than later, yep. you know, we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's it, guys. Anything? Is that everybody? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's everybody. Anybody got anything else before we hit it? No. How's my vacation request? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about uh, that. Right. Let's get out. You know, yeah, yeah, start yeah, working. I don't want to say I'm preoccupied. But. <laughs> well, you certainly deserve it, Rick, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, everybody. All right. Thanks. Have a good one.